Many broiler producers reuse litter from previous flocks to help reduce the amount of litter for disposal and to help defray production costs. In-house pasteurization of broiler litter is a litter management tool that producers can use to reduce the pathogen content of reused litter to decrease the potential for sickness and disease to poultry, as well as to extend the usefulness of the litter. In-house pasteurization of litter also has been called in-house windrow composting, windrow composting, windrowing, and composting. While the in-house pasteurization of litter uses composting technology, the process is not true composting by definition. Composting is a managed process that controls biological decomposition and transformation of biodegradable material into a humus-like substance called compost. Whereas pasteurization is exposing the substance to an elevated temperature for a period of time sufficient to destroy certain microorganisms without changing the substance. Thus, this procedure appropriately is termed in-house pasteurization of broiler litter. The process used to in-house pasteurize broiler litter is to arrange the litter into windrows that run lengthwise of the broiler house. That's after the flock has been harvested. Two windrows should be made in each house. If there's not enough litter, then only one windrow should be made. The windrows need to be five to six feet in width and three feet in height. The windrows can be made with a tractor and blade or with special equipment designed to make windrows. Producers can expect to take one and a half hours or more to construct the windrows depending on the amount of litter in the house and the type of equipment used to make the windrows. The litter should remain in the windrows for at least seven to 10 days. While the litter is windrowed, the windrows should be monitored for temperature. A temperature of 131 degrees Fahrenheit is necessary to kill most pathogens. Properly windrowed litter will reach 131 degrees Fahrenheit within one to two days after it is windrowed. After seven to 10 days of windrowing, the litter should be spread out in the house and proper venting of ammonia should be allowed. This should be done for three to four days. Some producers may choose to turn the windrow litter during the pasteurization process. If the windrows are going to be turned, they should be left in the original windrows for four to five days prior to turning. Turning the windrows may be beneficial if the moisture of the litter is high and it can help release ammonia. General considerations when using in-house pasteurization of litter as a litter management method are, litter moisture is important for the pasteurization process to work effectively. Litter that is 30% or higher in moisture is optimum but the procedure can still work with litter that is as low as 25% moisture. If the litter is dry, the cake should be kept and windrowed with the litter. Litter should be windrowed as soon as possible after birds are caught. The windrows should be five to six feet in width and three feet in height. Producers must have enough out time for the procedure to be used. A minimum of seven to 10 days is needed for the litter to be in windrows, and then another three to four days is needed for venting of the ammonia. The total depth of litter needs to be managed. Some litter needs to be removed from time to time to ensure that the overall litter depth in the house is not excessive. Newer litter has a high proportion of bedding material. This increases aeration of the litter and makes it harder to reach the 131 degrees Fahrenheit necessary to kill pathogens. Therefore, to in-house pasteurize litter after only one or two flocks have been grown on it, larger windrows and higher litter moisture are required. Producers should avoid sharing equipment. If tractors and windrowing blades or equipment are shared from one farm to another, biosecurity procedures must be practiced. All equipment must be sanitized and disinfected prior to leaving one farm, and then sanitized and disinfected prior to being used on the next farm. Also, special biosecurity consideration needs to be taken when using a contractor to windrow litter. With adequate out time between flocks, 
proper construction of windrows, adequate litter moisture, and managed litter depth, in-house pasteurization of litter can be a good litter management tool for broiler producers. In-house pasteurized litter has reduced pathogen content, which decreases the potential for sickness and disease to poultry, as well as extends the usefulness of the litter. Thus, in-house pasteurization of litter reduces the amount of litter for disposal and helps defray production costs.